Good morning. Um, it's early morning here in Honolulu. As you can see here, we have all these uh, fishing fishing boats here. They have been bringing fish uh, since uh, early morning here. And uh, the auction uh, started a few minutes ago in here. And uh, they are going to sell a lot of fish today. I actually signed up for a, for a little tour of this place. You can't really run around here by yourself with a camera. That, that would be kind of weird. So uh, I actually had to pay 25 bucks to, to be on a small organized uh, tour here. Uh, so I need to I need to find uh, whoever is kind of leading this one, and uh, then, then we can start. Uh, I'm actually right on time, so I will go in there and. Uh, let, let's let's begin. He's talking about the permits now. They have 164 permits available here. And they have uh, 145 permits in action right now. So about 20 permits being held out. Yeah, so there are a few available. If you want to fish in this fishery, you'll need a boat. He said a boat is roughly a million dollars. Oh, to get the permit will cost two hundred fifty thousand dollars here. Here's the ice they use, and they actually um, he, he told us earlier here they actually produce ice in that building you see right over there, and the ice is crushed. Uh, and he also said they they have tried a different type of ice but this one that is crushed is is the the best for uh, for fish so this is a long one. yeah we we have some action here right now Yeah, so it's kind of interesting huh? <coughs> to see how these guys are working. They, after all, they have invested a lot of money in this business here. You know, uh, 250000 just to to buy a permit uh, and then a boat for a million dollars or more. That's a lot of money. And right now these guys are going down there in, in that hole here. We are waiting. It's, it's like an action movie here. But in a slower form, of course. It, it's not the fastest process you have seen, but, but still, it's working. In the, in, in the meanwhile, I can take a look at these boats here. He's actually explaining how um, how they fish now. They use a, a long line. And I can't believe all the, the stuff they actually bring up that is not related to fish. Uh, I did some reading about this process here. Uh, as far as I understand, they start unloading um, just after midnight, like 1 a.m. in the morning. And, and it's still going on, as you can see. Um, the fish auction starts really at uh, 5.30. And I, I saw a number that uh, they, they can in one day here just uh, sell about a hundred thousand pound of tuna. Okay, so they sent down a, a hook and uh, right now uh, something is coming up here. So let, let's find out what that is. Oh man, look at that. Some ginormous tuna fish. Wow. They should actually sell tuna sandwiches here. That would be an interesting thing.
huge, as you know, to see these guys in action. The Iceman is just throwing in crack guys. So yeah, maybe they fill up that trainer. I mean, who knows? There, here's another one, just in case. Just in case the boat is just full of full of fish. Here. <laughs> it looks like they are doing a laundry too. I see some uh, wet socks hanging out there. Yeah, they probably have to. Yeah, we have some action here. I don't know what they're planning to do here. Wow, they're moving, they're moving now to another location. Closer because he's breaking his back. All right, he's happy now. So full of action now in the morning. Oh man, they are bringing another one. So how, how much fish do they have in this boat here? So maybe they are going to fill up three of those. That, that's a lot of pounds, to say the least. He's actually explaining right now what is happening basically uh, to, to the fisher. You know, the fish is dead, right? And uh, he's explaining that if you, if you don't really take care of the fish here and ice it, you know, correctly, uh, it's going to change in, in uh, color and things like that. And the, the whole structure of the, the meat will change. Now it's all covered with ice here. All right. So they uh, take this tuna away now and they bring another empty trailer here. So they take the fish all the way back to the uh, auction place itself. Maybe, maybe this is the, uh, the fuel, the petroleum, marine petroleum. Yeah, these fishing boats need a lot of uh, gas or diesel or I'm not sure what they are using here some kind of advanced uh, fishing fuel, right? So uh, I, I guess the, the boat at the far end here got some uh, refill so they can survive uh, tomorrow's fishing. Go through a scale that receives an individual um, identification code. So we can probably track that back to where in the law the captain put it. So we can trace what the stock is looking like throughout that ocean. How do we know all of that's true? We have 20% coverage of observers in the tuna fleet. So one of every five boats that goes out there has a federal observer. And that way we can corroborate what the captain says in his log and what the observer sees. Okay. He's actually saying that uh, many of these boats have been, or actually all of them have been uh, retrofitted uh, to be able to handle the, the long line.
So when you go to the store and you buy canned tuna, uh, it could have been packed down in the American Samoa, and also it's it's not the big the big hundred pound fish they they use for uh, sashimi. Uh, it, it's all the small stuff, the leftover tunas, they actually cook and, and put into uh, two cans. Uh, but because when you, when, you do, uh, when you have a fine restaurant and you want like a big block of tuna for sashimi, that, that's coming from, from the big fish. But again, they, they actually have the whole spectrum here uh, for, for people with money and, and also people with less money. Who can still afford to, to eat tuna because they have such a big range in, in price. Which is nice, right? Because why not? I mean, everybody should, should be able to, uh, to eat a piece of tuna. It might not be the, the highest $40 per pound tuna, but, uh, but still, right? We are going into the actual auction place right now. And this is just outside. Shoes from outside. And this is the place. Wow. Crazy place. So much fish. It's unbelievable. Take a look. Crazy. looking for uh, the, the color here and, 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 and size of the fish and the clarity of the meat itself. Uh, it, it, it's really a cool place. Yeah. Look at the activities up there where the auction is actually happening right now. They bring in the fish, they, they mark them up, they put them on pallets, they move them around constantly all the time. He's actually explaining now how they actually you, you know, figure out if it's a good fish or not. Here, um, something like this. What do you think? No. But it'll be a catch of the day. Right? You grill it. He's um, looking for the clarity. Size, 80 pounds. That could be a catch of the day. Right? You can see that the random qualities here. I, I think this is a nice color, but I wouldn't guess you been against one of those guys. It's beginning to show a little bit of leakage. That's a nice color though. So you can see that these guys are bidding and I would not go big today. It's really cold in here and he said it's uh, 35 degrees, here's more small stuff coming in. And there is no size restriction here. They, they have everything from 80 pound, 100 pound, down to the smallest little fish. It's just that it's used for, for uh, different things. The big, the big ones are really for the fancy sashimi, where, where they actually have a big chunk of, of a muscle structure, where they can actually slice out a, a, a high quality piece. While the smaller ones are used for, for other things. It's, it's for, you know, cheaper, cheaper restaurants, where they can't really afford the, the high end. Yeah. 
That's 104 pounds. This is 127. You only got it, the BG. 120. So, when it's sold, it gets that that you paid for them. That's a nice thing. Whatever price you paid for, for that thing, they're going to be up waiting there for the cash. Meanwhile, South Carolina Market, Diamond and Seafood, North Bank, they have a cash account with people. If you ever go to Honolulu, uh, I would recommend you to uh, actually sign up and uh, take a tour here uh, at the fish auction place. Um, uh, it's just an amazing uh, happening here. It, it's just crazy cool. Uh, and I had no idea there are so many things you, you can learn about uh, the, the fishing industry. Uh, you have different different type of fish here. Look at that. Everything, but mostly tuna is like the big thing here. But when they catch out the stuff, they, they actually bring them on here. It's actually a lot of fish I've never heard about here. This big round fish. Uh, I mean, you need to you need to go here twice. First, you need to go here one time and learn about it. Then you need to read about it, and then you need to come back to fully understand what is happening. But it's still very cool. And all these fans going in here. To keep it cool makes it really hard to to actually hear what he's saying. But of course, I'm I'm, I'm the guy with no headset. So there you go. Everybody has a headset. <laughs> Except one guy. Oh, that's funny. And it's a busy, busy place. People everywhere. We need to be careful so we don't get in the way. Maybe I should buy a tuna. Buy like a 89 pound tuna here. Go home and cook it. And you can see the variety here of, of fish. And this is really an interesting fish, the big red one. They're still heavy. I mean, the, I see the the one down here is uh, 85 pounds. That one is 43 pounds, 105. So yeah, you have the whole spectrum. And the auction is uh, happening right here. You see the, the guy up there. They they write stuff. They put down notes. We have some live action here. The paper, they write down numbers and they throw it down. So the, the guy here with the vest is, is the organizer. He's just walking there. People give him offers and uh, they write down the price and boom, that's it. The 
Jokin guy is coming closer now. They remove the ice and, and so people can see and then they they give offers here. Yeah. Alright, take a look. It's like a magic language, uh, I don't understand. But it's, uh, it works. I just want to um, say th this is a very interesting place. If you ever come here to Honolulu, uh, th there are certain uh, Saturdays where they actually have these tours. So you need to check that out and, and, and book it. It's very cheap uh, for, for what you get. Uh, you have an hour and a half of a very, very interesting program. You can see everything from when they unload load the fish from, from the boats and actually get to the auction floor where they're actually selling the fish so uh, come come and uh, check it out yourself you will learn a lot about uh, the fishing industry here in Hawaii so with that over and out my friends